Tom's business has been expanding. He has a steady inflow of customers and has expanded his product range. However, more competitors have moved into the market and started seizing market share. With increased competition, Bob knows he can't afford to make any wrong decisions. Because of the increase in product complexity and the need for more accurate information for better decision making, Bob decides to review the way product costs are being calculated. He is worried that the conventional method of overhead allocation that he is currently using, the plant-wide method, may be providing a distorted picture of how firm resources are being consumed by each of the product lines. Conventional allocation methods bundle overheads into one cost pool and one cost driver for each plant or department. Typically, these methods use volume-based drivers that do not always reflect the actual use of resources by different products. Often, large volume products that are mass-produced, such as Bob's cookies, are overcosted, while lower volume products that require more complex production process, such as cakes, will be undercosted. This is because conventional methods will use one average rate that is applied to all products, irrespective of the number and complexity of activities required. Activity-based costing, or ABC, focuses on the actual activities or tasks performed by the firm. Instead of accumulating costs based on the plant or departmental structure of the firm, ABC identifies and uses the major activities in the production process as the cost pools. Cost drivers are then selected that best represent how products use the resources consumed by each activity. An advantage of ABC is that it is not limited to volume-based drivers, but can incorporate different patterns of cost incurrence. This is captured in a framework called the cost hierarchy. The ABC cost hierarchy recognises that costs are driven by different activities, and not all of these vary by volume. The cost hierarchy identifies four types of cost drivers. Unit level activities are performed on each unit of product and vary by the number of units. Batch level activities are carried out on each batch of a product and vary by the number of batches produced. Product level activities relate to a specific product line. Faculty level activities occur at the plant level and impact all the products manufactured by the factory. Through observation of the production process, Bob identifies four key activities that all his products go through. He wants to understand what resources are used by each activity and how much this costs the bakery. Bob looks at his overhead costs and assigns them to each activity depending on how much of a resource each activity consumes. While the stages of production are similar across products, the amount of each activity used is not. This is what makes ABC more accurate, as it relates more closely to the complexities of the production process for different products. Based on each activity, Bob identifies cost drivers that reflect the use of the activity by a product. For each activity, the activity allocation rate is calculated. This is the estimated cost per unit of driver of the activity. The budgeted activity cost is the total estimated use of overheads by the activity. And the budgeted activity driver is the total driver expected to be used during the upcoming period. Now that Bob has established an ABC system for his business, he can now apply it to his product range. He has a special order coming up of 200 cupcakes, but isn't sure what the price should be. Bob figures out how much of the cost drivers of each activity are used by the cake and uses rates to apply the overhead to the product. As overhead allocations better reflect the actual activities and resources consumed in the production process, ABC provides more accurate cost information that should improve decision making such as determining product mix and pricing. It also provides better insights into where resources are being consumed in the firm and what drives these costs, resulting in better cost management. The main disadvantages of ABC are that it is a more complex, time-consuming and costly system. For Bob's Bakery, especially in a competitive market, the benefit of more accurate information is likely to outweigh his costs. Mm -hmm.